everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so as you know with the title today's video is going to be how to take notes and it's going to be the real and effective version of notes taking video which video which i posted the last year it's not the actual version i must say i've learned a lot in this one year and this is going to be the real one and it's very easy to make up and create it up so i just really hope you guys will enjoy today's video Basically, in this video, I'm going to talk about the supplies, stationery supplies, which you can use for note taking, and those gonna be really affordable. Also, the note taking, like where you can take notes. Either basically, I thought to include two ways of note taking, which I use mostly, and it's gonna be really effective one for fair note taking. Also, I want to say sorry for not uploading this video of note taking. It was it was the most and highly requested video of all. So this video is finally here and notes taking technique is not just limited for one subject like I'm a humanities student I have actually talked about geography basically but you can use this notes taking method for any subject it gonna be really effective so definitely watch this video out I just really hope you will enjoy this and get some idea of notes taking hey, let's get started with today's video without any further ado so when it comes to notes taking you just need to remember that where to take and write up the notes first option can be binder size notebooks these are super easy to fold up and take notes and pretty affordable so these are my favorite for taking online notes as well and i've been using that for my online rough notes second option can be register size big notebook we use this for our 11th grade and these are pretty good too third option can be diary or anything where you can take notes and yeah even you can use a4 size printed white paper sheet fourth option can be classmate small size notebook and we use this till class 10th and these were so good so yeah any of these you can choose that but what i personally recommend is binder size notebook because these are so good and easy to use from edu life now when it comes to supply stationery supply it doesn't mean you need to use up stationery like expensive and lot of stationery stuff what i learned in this one year is that with very less and affordable supply you can create your effective notes so for pen i use this ink pen luxa one and ball pen as well but whichever pen you are comfortable with just use that like whatever pen you like the most just use that there's no need to change the pen Second is the post-it card. If there is no post-it, you can use sticky notes or just create up the box. Third is the sketch colors, and it gives you variety of options. So yeah, that's the third option. Fourth is highlighter. For highlighter, I use this Faber Castell. Now these are way too cheaper and affordable as compared to Stabilo, and these are really good with fine tip. So yeah, with that all, we are done with stationery supply, and these are very less and affordable for effective notes. Now let's talk about the basic format slash way of taking notes. First, start by writing the topic part. You can even decorate it like that. Then write the subtopic part and introductory part, which is like intro in a paragraph or so, and important points and example if needed. For posted, I use posted or sticky notes, or you can make boxes and use that to write up the important points or just short explanation once you learn the concept. For highlighter, you can underline and highlight the topic, subtopic, and example. With that all, we are done with the basic format of notes taking. Now here's the way or to write some of the titles, and these are my favorite way that you can use too for writing up the subtitles or like titles. And for important points, you can use star mark. And here's a quick tip for using highlighter. Don't I don't really use that, but you can use that. You can highlight first and then write over the top. So highlighting after writing makes the area and highlighter dirty. So yeah, to prevent that, you can use that. And with that all, we are done with the basic tips. Now let's start by knowing the main thing, which is which book you can use for taking up notes. I personally suggest NCERT book because these are so effective. So yeah, read the book thoroughly and then underline the important points using highlighter. And with that all, you can do so. So I personally read the book, and even in my online class, I read that and underline the important points using highlighter. I did the same for soil, which we were doing in online class, and just underline the keywords and important points. And yeah, 
with that i'm going to talk about two ways of note taking that i use first way is going to be the very simplest and easy one where i'm going to use purple color code and just normal black ball pen blue ball pen start by writing up the topic and highlighting up the side portion then i just wrote the introductory part like that in a paragraph way and for quick important point i use this posted or you can use sticky notes you can even create a box and just like draw it up at the side part and yeah with that i stick up the posted over the side like that and then for types if you need to write or like make table you can even draw flow chart or write tables and make points like that and yeah you can use these kind of uh, you know ways of writing topic and just highlight like that these are pretty simple to do and easy to create up then for the second sub topic part i just wrote that and then draw a line around it like that made a box around it and then highlighted the portion like that then i started by writing up the points regarding that topic and this was pretty simple to do just leave a line and do so if any point is left you can just write it at the side by giving a arrow and make a cloud like that or any box and then highlight the important keywords or important points so with that all we are done with the first way of note taking it is really simple and easy to do so you can do it for any subject and it's simple to do now the second way of note taking So for this you can use any color code system. Start by taking up a ruler and draw the line like that from the middle portion and this is the main thing. It just saves your time and of course space as well and it's pretty cool, you know. So start by writing the topic at one of the side and yeah, basically you're going to write at the one of the side where you just draw the line. and for any you know flow chart you can draw up like that and make boxes around it to make it look pretty cool and then just highlight that part it's very simple and easy to do so then for sub topic part you just write the sub topic and important points regarding that after that highlight the points or sub topic part then start by writing the second topic on the other side and just write the points regarding that topic and again highlight the important points you can even use sketch color or any color whichever you like after that if you need to add anything extra you can use posted card or any paper sheet and just stick it on the side edge of the paper and that's it with that all you are done with second way of note taking and it's again really effective and easy to do so it's one of my favorite thing to do and i use this note taking technique for my online classes so yeah guys comment below whichever note taking technique you like the most first way or second way i personally like both of them now here's my geography note which i created a months back and i used this uh, code technique like you know second way of note taking technique then i only highlighted the important points or keywords and used post it sticky notes just for writing something short explanation and yeah with that all it's cool again simple to do for drawing up something like if you want to draw or like draw diagram you can just write the topic and draw diagram like that and this is a quick recap of how to take notes basic way also i included my political science notes and here i was writing the right chapter notes i wrote the topic using black pen and then highlighted the part using color code and also highlighted the keywords in the points which i wrote and this is very simple to do so so i just hope you like this notes taking technique if yes then don't forget to subscribe like and share and thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed today's video bye bye see you in my next video